Hi everyone, welcome again to the Backwall Launch. Our guest today is Barry Rosenwald. Hi Barry. Hi, nice to be here. <laughs> nice to have you here. Uh, Barry, you are uh, managing the software department in our R&D and we're going to talk today about software defined networking, SDN, right? Right. Why, why are we talking about SDN in 2019? SDN is, is a pretty old technology, no? Yeah, but I think actually it's not so old. Discussions around it started, I don't know, about uh, five years ago probably. <clears throat> but I think now uh, we came to understanding that uh, it's really required uh, when we face the 5G challenges. Uh, so I think that the operators in order to support 5G need SDN more than they, they needed before. Okay, so 5G is like a, a, a major event when it comes to SDN. Uh, could you tell us what in 5G requires SDN or propel the SDN introduction into, the, into networks? I think it comes from a, a two different aspects, right? The first one, is actually the support of, um, um, of network slicing. Network slicing actually is, is the ability to support multiple functions and you know that in 5G we, we support, we're supposed to support multiple functions in the network. So you're talking about uh, functions you refer to the different use cases exactly. or services of 5G like EMBB, URLC, MMTC? E exactly, and each one of those require different network resources. Uh, but you have one physical network, right? So in order to, to, to support that, you need actual, actually uh, to build virtual networks on, to on top of the physical network. This is called network slicing. SDN provides the uh, ability to do that because uh, in our uh, areas in the network, Actually, network slicing means um, um, different services, right? The different services and different quality of service. Uh, but it needs to be dynamic as well, because you build those services uh, according to the requirements, according to the need, and maybe you want to change them on the fly, right? Everything is dynamic, it's more dyna dynamic. Now think about the networks today. Networks today, you can't actually have an application that will perform a, a, a service, create a service, or change a service dynamically. It can't happen because of the uh, different equipment and different vendors and different functionalities, domains in the network. So SDN can mm -hmm. do it across multiple network domains? Exactly, so for that you actually need a standard API, right? And if you have a standard API, a, a standard interface, you can actually build an application Right, a software application that can uh, uh, create and optimize the network or, or uh, apply commands to the network uh, easily because it has interfaces, standard interfaces. Okay, so you talked about having different 5G use cases and services and service orchestration via network slicing and scaling it up via automation and SDN and so on and so forth. What else does SDN bring to 5G and 5G operators? Right, so as we said, the, the major requirement, the first requirement, the basic requirement, is to, pro to provide this uh, a, a standard interface and to support it. The second thing I would say is to reduce uh, operational expenses because you know it's going to cost a lot, right? Um, uh, more equipment, more services, more bandwidth, it's costly, right? And on the other hand, the, they do not necessarily see the revenues uh, coming up exactly. in the same rate. Exactly. So we need to find a way to optimize it. We need to find a way to optimize the costs. So the other path that uh, should be taken is actually to optimize the network, right? Uh, think about a scenario, a use case, right? That uh, you, you plan the network and configure the, ne the network offline. And then automatically you can apply this configuration to the devices so they can operate automatically and then you go to the phase of monitoring the network, right? When you monitor the network, you actually get all the PMs, all the performance measurements, all the alarms, logs, etc. cetera. Uh, you can learn about the network, you can predict what's going to happen in the future. If you have this uh, prediction, maybe you can even apply changes, configurational changes to the network in order to avoid problems in the future. Uh, maybe those uh, can be automatically, maybe those can be suggestions to the operators um, uh, and by that and then the cycle goes again, right? You continue monitoring the network, predict the problems 
and fix them before they happen. This reduces costs from the operators. Yeah, I think a lot of operations managers in the uh, mobile arena would love to have that in their network, but it also seems that on top of saving money and increasing operational efficiency, this also improves the quality of service for the customers because you mentioned being proactive and avoiding hiccups in the network. This is something the customers will also, will also enjoy. Exactly. You see when the problem is going to happen and you avoid it. You, you predict it and, and you do something in order to uh, avoid it and to, to have a smooth operation of the network. So if we want to conclude, maybe we can say that 5G will be a major catalyst to SDN introduction into networks and also on the other angle that SDN is almost a must for 5G networks? Yeah, I would say it is going to be a must for the 5G networks. I would say that the benefit, not only the, the, the hard requirements for the network slicing and supporting all the use cases, uh, is needed on, also the, the, the cost reduction is really important regardless to the 5G or with regards to the 5G because of the expansion to the network. Okay, Barry, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for watching. It was very insightful uh, learning how SDN will enable 5G deployments across the world. Stay tuned for our next sessions. Thank you. Bye-bye.